Okay guys, so the mech that I think I'm going to try out for this next part of the video is this quick draw. Now I don't have a lot of experience with it. Essentially what this has is two lasers on each arm and then on the center of its torso it's got two massive PPCs, uh, particle, particle projectile cannon, that was easy for me to say. They are kind of long range but slow lasers if that makes sense, I'm going to just have to let you see in the battle. Um, so this one here is it's a medium mech. Um, it moves yeah, fairly fast. Let's have a look at the details of it again. 81 kilometers an hour. It's not hugely armored. Um, so this is, but this is a little bit more of a sort of stand up and fight mech. Um, it's it's. You definitely don't want to be going straight in and sort of going, fuck it, I'll have you, sort of thing. But you also aren't quite as vulnerable to taking hits. So it's that sort of playoff. You're going to have a little bit less maneuverability, but still enough to sort of dodge and weave a little bit. And I'll just try and get in the baton and give you a good view of how to use this mech. Well, I say how to use the mech. Someone not failing at using the mech, which is going to be really hard for me to do. Okay guys, so here we go, and I'm going to say straight off is I am absolutely rubbish with medium mechs, I've always been rubbish with medium mechs, and I will always be rubbish with medium mechs, because for me, I don't know why, my brain just does not compute it properly, they seem to fall somewhere between a fast mech that gets out of trouble and a slow mech that sort of stands up a little bit to fight, and yeah, I... I seem to go towards more of the I'm going to attack rather than okay I probably shouldn't go face to face with that mech that's twice my size. So let's try not to do this on the video. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Okay, and <coughs> these are battle. Battle. So, on this map, it's, um, it's, it's very much a case of you need to sort of stick together with your teammates. This is, this is basically the other side of the map that I played with my Raven. And as you saw, when we got spread out, it was, yeah, not good. Really not good. So, it looks like our guys are going down into the tunnel. Oh, no. Okay, so, we're taking this high route here. Uh, there's someone talking on. Right, so, don't go out to straight into the fight. Don't go out straight into the fight. Don't go out straight into the fight. I like those Wolverines. Oh, back off. Hold up. Target acquired. Now one of the cool things about using lasers is the fact that you do basically have unlimited ammo. Said to them. Well you do have. Did I hit him? I don't know. It's showing up red. I can just about see the top of his mech. Damn, too slow. He is getting somewhat through by though by those long range missiles. <coughs> New target acquired. Oh, 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 oh. They're just wasting their ammo there, aren't they? Right, New target acquired. Oh, 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 look, look, look. Don't get target shot at him. Acquired. Oh, 
Oh, there's one. And that was terrible shooting. As you can see, there is a, a very big element here of getting your eye in for how to actually handle the weapons of your mech, because different mechs move at different speeds, so it is a case of you need to really practice with your mechs. Someone is getting shot, are we? Yeah, New target acquired. He's going after our AFK people. So. We still haven't got any kills, this is bad. See, this is where the urge for me says I could go in and get fighting, New but. Target acquired. Oh, look. I know I'm going to be absolutely foobarred if I do. I thought it was coming out from behind the buildings there. Uh, it, oh, no, 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 no. I saw that. I see you. Let's see if I can sneak out. Oh, yeah. Sneaky shot. Other one. Oh, not good. They're trying to sneak around on the server, but let's see if I can see. He's run. Okay. Oh. No, terrible shot. And once again, you think of these as lasers, and yeah, you don't. <laughs> these PPCs do actually move quite slowly. Fuck ton of damage when they do here. good battle by the looks of it but hey at least I'm not getting myself killed like a numb nuts yet Now this is one of the side effects of using the trial mechs, because I don't have an AMS system on this and I don't have the option to equip one. Obviously, trial mechs, they have got a very specific setup. Well, let's see if I can go and help take out that spider. We have lost most of our team now, so to be honest, this is going to be a case of me just trying to stay alive. Yeah, there's not really much point in me trying to stay alive, but okay, let's see if I can... Whoa, not good. No, 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 no. Critical damage. Torso, critical damage. PPC destroyed. Okay, we both shut down there. Destroyed. Damn. Center torso critical. Well, at least I got a kill there. So as you can see. Right, so something obvious, that's quite obvious here is that you are at the whim of getting a team that A, isn't AFK and B, do group up. Um, and then sometimes you just don't have a good game. I mean, there, you know, I was trying to play as sensible as possible there. Got a kill, got an assist, and got some damage done. Just click to spectate here. Okay guys, so you got to see me using a medium mech there, and as you can see, it's a little bit more sluggish and it's nowhere near as fast as one of the lighter mechs, uh, but it is still quite vulnerable. It can generally have a, a much bigger loadout, and, and the payoff for that is that the medium mechs that have got a big loadout is they tend to be not really that much more armoured than, say, a heavy light mech, if you know what I mean. Um, 
so a heavier end of the light neck spectrum might not actually be you know that much more vulnerable to damage than a medium mech if it has had some of its armor sort of reduced so it can have a big loadout also with these medium mechs because obviously they are only one step up they're only 20 tons more is there is a limited amount of space on them so usually you end up having things on the arms as you saw there is you know you do have the ability to hold weapons that can give you a nice long range damage um, you can really contribute to team damage if we take all the damage that I've done in say for example any of the ravens that I've got or played with it's even on a game where I get kills and things like that it, I find it really hard to break say 200 damage we look at that one there and that was sort of dodging back and forth getting a few shots on took a lighter mech out to help my team and then hit a just got in that little fight with that medium one I did 250 damage and I wasn't particularly playing well so it, you know you the amount of damage you can do scales up but also in the same amount is I find with the medium mechs is the vulnerability kind of scales up you don't really get the ability to sort of hold out in a firefight until you get to the next sort of tiers up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a heavy mech. So we have got this Banshee, oh no that's an assault mech. So heavy goes up to about just anything under 80 tons and more than 55 tons is a heavy I think as defined as. Um, so that's generally sort of 60 to 75 tons. We've got a 65 ton here called the Thunderbolt. Um, what else do we have here? We also have the Mad Dog. So actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Mad Dog because what you've seen is a lot of laser weapons. You might want to see how the long range weapons work a little bit better. So let's just fire up a public match on this. Now I'm going to say here, um, this is going to be me getting through bar to be honest. Uh, this mech is, this is, this is something I find with the trial mechs and once again I can't, I really cannot over state how that this can be quite annoying I mean I've played mech warrior games for a long time I'm aware of the faults of these mechs that you're using as a trial and I still get annoyed by them so it is going to be a case of if you don't happen to get into good matches you may have to persevere a little bit for you to get yourself a good mech but it is I can also say it it does get fun and honestly my personal thing would be to say try out the bigger mechs just to get a feel of them really what I try and do is I'd like I will try and really aim towards learning how to play the lighter mechs because everything's cheaper with them and you can still sort of do scouting and help your team and things okay guys so here we go with the mad dog um, I'm probably not going to do too good because it is set as an LRM boat it's got no sort of electronic countermeasures or AMS or anything like that so this is really just to show you how the missiles work and of course it is a missile boat so so hopefully you'll be able to see sort of an idea of how it might be involved in a battle which is stand back and try and kill ship online sensors online weapons online All now I believe I also online. have some I have some big lasers, but I believe they're on my arms. So let's try and link up my teammates here. Now we're in space this time. This should be very good for heat dissipation, which is good because this seems to be running a little bit hot. Okay, here's my teammates. What are they doing? What are, they doing? are we going all around the outside? It is to be so. probably don't want to be getting myself into the line of sight too much. I also don't want to be trying to fire over that because the missiles won't go over it. 
Now they come from over there, I believe, so I, can't, I wonder if I can sneak round to the other side. Target before. acquired. So let's sort of show where how the missiles fire. There we go. Well, that was bad. Now, no obviously, they don't acquired. they don't keep lock if you fire them and you lose your lock. So let's see if I can help take out that spider, maybe. Target destroyed. Oh yes! Wow. And here was me saying I was going to do terrible. Target acquired. New let's target see acquired. What we got there. Oh, that looks like a good one to get some missiles on. Those urban mechs are little shit. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Damn. New target acquired. Oh, we're doing good. Target acquired. Let's get some damage on that guy. Oh, those timber wolves, I believe, are fairly damn big mechs. New target acquired. Now I'm kind of wasting a lot of my ammo here. Oh, damn, damn, I'm taking damage from the left somewhere. So what I'm going to try and do is keep them out. I definitely took damage from the left somewhere. New target acquired. So our, 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 guys, so our guys... Ammo at 25%. So our guys have got a fairly steady bead on him, so let's see if we can add some damage in. I've only got two more shots. I've got. I think it's my last shot I've got, so let's make it Target count. destroyed. Oh yes. So this is also a downside with the LRM boats is that you've got a choice between you can take a lot of ammo and be able to fire lots of shots, but then you kind of have to skimp on everything else on your map. Target acquired. New target acquired. Okay. LRM ammo depleted. So Target destroyed. And wasted me shots because he was already destroyed. So now I have to go in and Target acquired. New target acquired. So is that them? Um... I can't really I think I got a shot at him. I would think so. Level critical. Ah, I can see. That. Okay, now I can see. It. So let's try our heat mode here. Should be able to see. No, it's a little bit too far away. Definitely got a few shots of in there. So generally, with an LRM boat, you kind of want to be hanging back, um, obviously, to be able to take your long-range shots. But on the same. In the same Target breath destroyed. as that, you don't want to be hanging so far back that a small mech can come charging up and screw you over. Because the speed at which you can turn in most mechs that are good for an LRM boat, yeah, they're, they're going to take you out really quick. Just get behind you and hit your back armour. Now, our guy down here seems to be having some trouble. So, oh, look, there he is. Target acquired. Heat level critical. I see if I can. Heat level critical. Oh damn. Damn, 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 damn. At least I got some damage on him. Warning incoming missile. Yeah, I'm screwed. Or not. That's the last one. Okay. So, in we go. Oh! Really? 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 Target destroyed. Oh well. We won! Awesome. A good game. That was a good game to actually show you the LRM boat. Woo! Right, so the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the big ass mech. Um, you're going to see how much slower these are and you know the one that you've got on the trial is really you can't turn very much you can't move very fast but anything in front of you is going to be is going to get destroyed to fuck so here we go
Okay guys, so the last mech that I'm going to show you playing on this is going to be a dire wolf. And these things are crazy armoured and crazy, crazy covered in guns. But they don't move very fast and they can't turn very much. I mean, to give you an example is I have taken one of these out in my Raven just because I can literally turn faster than them and just sit in their freak spot and keep hitting them in the back. So that's something you need to be aware of that, you know, this is the limitations of your mech. It's okay, you are basically a giant fucking cannon aiming forwards. But it, exactly the same breath I'm going to say is, but that cannon can't turn very fast and it's very vulnerable from the back. So that's basically what you're looking at here. So if we have a look into the mech details here, as you can see, we have got fuck tons of stuff. And I'm just going to go into a battle and give you a demonstration of this. So here we go, we are doing this space one again, and I don't think this is going to go so good, because this is one that's lots of twisting and turning, and this mech can't twist and turn. Oh! Kind of highlights one of the issues uh, when you are playing with the trials, and also just in general, is that you can't choose the maps you're going to go on, unless it's one of the faction battles. Um, I don't want this video to be too long, and those faction battles okay. take a really long time. So I think I'm going to do that in the next Sensors one or two online. videos that I do. Weapons online. But yeah, you, you cannot choose Sensors what online. battles, what maps you go on to, which kind of, yeah, that's that's one of the gripes that I do have. So let's have a look at what we've got. I can't see that. I can't even get over that damn lump in there. Right, so the weapons we have are PPCs, basically a shotgun. These are ultra AC cannons, which are like a yeah overpowered machine gun, basically fire very very fast. And we've got some small lasers. And I'm not going to remember all those buttons. So okay. So as you can see, how slow this thing is to turn. I think we have several diabolos on this one. Yes, we do. So let's. Oh, there's a guy Target there. acquired. Here's one over. Now I shouldn't be pansying out like I should, but with this, every time I've tried using one of these, um, I've ended up in a situation where I've ended up on my own, and yeah, I've just just someone just circles around behind you. Any mech that's smaller than you will just circle around behind you and fuck you up. So you need to stick with your teammates, which I'm trying to do, which I've obviously failed at already. So here we go. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Oh my god. These people on steroids, look how fast they're moving. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Time to lay the smack down. Damn. Try to get a sneaky shot through the other side of there. I really don't want to go on top of that. Let's try and not knock our teammates off of here, but also not fall off ourselves. Okay. Can you move, please? Here we go, here we go. As you can see, a lot of what pass got opened up there. Let's see if that guy is going to come back into range. Let's see if we can poke our head over the top. And there he is, same guy. Don't fall down this hole. That might be a wise message. So this thing feels so, so sluggish to use. So sluggish. And yeah, we're in the range of LRMs there. That's just going to be a clusterfuck for our guys. So I'm going to see if I can sneak up the side. Now I do feel like when I use it I've just got like no manoeuvrability options a lot of the time. It's just basically get behind something big and duck in and out. 
the only time you're really going to be able to do any sort of flanking on someone is when they end up out of position. New target. Heat level critical. Okay, and as you can see, I've managed to get myself uh, shut down. Fantastic. So smart. Oh, that was stupid. I'm going to back down. Back off. Come on. Come on. Go backwards. Come on, you slow bastard. Blue target acquired. Let's see if we can get a shot on one of our people. Ultra auto cannon ammo at 25%. See, I would much rather only having a couple of those cannons and a lot more ammo. That's, you know, that's just my general way of playing. I prefer to. Okay, let's see if he's going to step up there. Gonna step up into range? No. Now I'm sure I don't really want to be turning my back to these guys, but I also don't want to be going up that damn ramp. Okay, let's try and sneak around with these guys what they're doing. As you can see, the ability, the turning circle, or the turning degrees on the torso on this are crazy small. Let's see if I can get up here with this guy. He's obviously going on the look. Oh, look, 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 he's not seen him. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Got him. Oh, crap. As you can see, you know, just the ability to maneuver gets you into a situation. I mean, I didn't play well there. I, I'm crap at that mech. I'm absolutely shite. Um. Yeah, so I didn't play so good there, but at least you've seen the kind of firepower that you can have on it. I really, really didn't play good there. Just just be aware, I'm I'm aware of how crap I played there. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a little sum up, and uh, the next video I'm going to do is about how to out, outfit your mech and sort of the way you can vary what you do with it. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I'm going to finish up this video here. The whole point of this video was to just give you a look at what MechWarrior Online is. Now, there are a lot more elements to it and I'm going to quickly go over those. The skills, as you, as you use a mech, you get skill points for that mech uh, and you get, well, you get experience for that mech and then you can increase the skills on it. So if we go in here to the mech tree, as you can see on my Raven that I've been using quite a bit, I've unlocked all of these things on there. For example, Cool Run, so it increases heat dissipation by 7.5%, acceleration, better twist, the point at which it shuts down is higher, and it can decelerate a lot quicker. I'm also going to go for my turning speed. There we go. That is my mech XP. Once you've got a certain amount of variants, you can unlock the Elite set. And what this does is it gives you extra things like startup, shutdown, rate of fire, weapon convergence speed, and increases top speed, for example. <coughs> I think different mechs might have different things. I don't have any other mechs, so I can't tell you at the moment. I do apologize on that. And if we go and have a look at the pilot trees, is you also get other things you can do. For example, now these are modules. So what you can do on here, for example, advanced zoom. So once I get 5,000, I want to get this advanced zoom for any long range weapons I have. And then I can equip that module to my mech. Consumables are things that you would use obviously once and you have to pay for each time and you have to equip them to the mech. And you get weapon modules that you can work on. For example, large, range, large laser range. And you know it's increased by 2% and then a little bit more and it goes up to five and then you can equip that module to your mech. So this should give you an idea as well, maybe why you don't do so well as a trial mech, because 
if you come up against someone who is using their favorite Mac or their favorite variant of Mac and they've got all of the variants, they've got all the XP in there, they've been playing for a while, the likelihood is they're going to be better, just basically their Mac is going to be a little bit better than anything you can do just by the fact they put experience into it and they've obviously got practice at it. Now as you can see how badly I was doing with the mechs that I don't own and I haven't practiced a lot with it is very much a feel thing. It's, it's so much like if you're playing a first person shooter where different guns might have different feels or you go from one shooter to another shooter. I mean it is like switching over mechanics completely because you go from you you know a certain speed a certain turn speed on your torso a certain speed at which the guns aim where the guns are to a completely different setup so when it comes to doing the trial system it's going to be something that really until you've had a huge amount of experience going into a new mech is going to be something that's going to be a really steep learning curve so you have to keep that in mind when you do it is that it does get better it does get more fun it gets so much less frustrating and not only because you do better but the other side of it is if you think about this if you know if you go into a game and you're using say you know mechanics or the physics of what you're using feels so foreign and you just can't seem to do what other people are doing then you feel really vulnerable and you also feel really like what's the point there's no point me doing this I've got no chance whereas once you do start getting the hang of it what happens is that you will find that okay you might have maps where you do bad and you might have maps where you're on a bad team and you might have maps where you get food bar but it's not because you feel helpless and you can't do anything now the other thing as well that I'm going to show in later videos is the faction system now the faction system is you get loyalty points if we go and have a look here these faction loyalties bank one davian recruit so it obtained 530 loyal points with the house davian uh, things like this um, the way these battles work is that you will if we go and click on one here we just click on this um, is you have a series of four mechs that you can take into the battle and at the start of the battle is you can choose which one you start with and every time you die you get to choose the next one you come back with and what you have is you have a team of 12 people and you have a team of 12 people on the other side and it'll be something like if you're on the defensive it's like you've got to stop them getting into the base and destroying generators or artillery and if you're on the offensive obviously you need to get in and destroy the artillery or whatever the thing is these battles last 30 minutes so what I didn't really want to do was put one of them on here on this first video because when it comes to actually sort of getting your eye in I don't think you necessarily want to do one of these because you're most likely going to be coming up against teams of people that like you're 12 people that are working together it's much less of a random thing there and if you are on a random team yourself and you come up against a team that know what they're doing yeah that that's just a clusterfuck wait I swore there a fuster club yeah right so to recap you have different sizes of mechs those different sizes of mechs kind of dictate what weapons you can have on them but also you have different chassis and layout for them so within the same weight class of mech you can have a variance of about 20 tons and you can also have you know one mech will be basically not be able to move very much doesn't have arms essentially all its firepower is in its body another mech will have lots of ability to fire left and right but vulnerable because its weapons are in its arms the different sizes of mech do have sort of very different combat roles a lot of the time you also have some non-weapon based things you have this AMS system you have the ECM system which is you know, obviously stop enemies from seeing your teammates the Beagle Active Probe system you have skills you have a faction system what I would say guys is no matter how much of a noob I have been playing this go and try this game out just it's worth trying it the MechWarrior universe is really diverse and when you do get on a team of people working together it is so much fun I mean I would say it's more fun than doing any first person shoot I've ever played is once you get on a good team of these guys also final point 
They're giant fucking mechs. Come on. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing another couple of videos on this. I don't know how far it's going to go, but basically I want to take you through me getting all the mechs that I want to get, going into the skills for them, seeing the changes from A, me being a noob, because I haven't played this. I haven't played this game for forever. Um, and also I haven't played the Mech Warrior Universe for a fair old while. So see, you'll be able to see maybe the changes that will happen as you get better with the game. Um, so if you maybe you're looking at this one, you're thinking, well, that doesn't look too good. You may later on, if you catch one of the later videos on this, see the fact that it does get better. You get a really good sort of awesome badass feeling, like, like a boss. Okay, guys, catch you soon. I hope you enjoy the video.